hello my beautiful friends thank you so much for tuning in it has been a very long time since i put up a video for a lot of reasons but i thought i would just give my um my regular followers the people that come back time and time again just a quick quick um explanation but if you're new to my channel um please skip through this if you want to skip through it or you can just get to know me and hang um hang around but i'm just gonna explain um what has been going on just giving you guys a quick little life update and then we'll get into my haul so yeah let's get to it the update um starting from may because um the last video that i posted was close to the end of may it was a day in the life and you guys know we've been doing we've been doing gather around homeschool and it has been great um and that has worked really well with us so after the last unit that we did that i posted here we ended up doing oceans and i intended to come back and do a few videos but right around the beginning of june my husband um decided to sell our house if you guys know we have been living here for five years now um and we bought this home as a starter home because it was a two-bedroom apartment and at the time i had three children and so we always knew that we were going to need to sell and buy eventually and this was just it the time um, came for us to do it. Um, and uh, so we started the process in June. And along the way, um, it just went so fast, you guys. The process went so fast, it was scary. One day we're meeting with the um, listing agent, the next day we're having an open house, the next day we already have a few offers and it's just, it was unbelievable. So at the same time, we're trying to buy a house. So we have started looking at houses, doing our own offers. And the, buy, the market is not for buying houses, so it has been super stressful to try to find a home with our budget um, and for our needs. And it's just been very stressful. But God is good, we found the home. Um, we're in the process of getting our closing date. And so in the next few weeks or so, I will be moving to a new home. And I do plan to share that with you. Um, but also along the way in July, my family suffered a loss, my dear sister um end up getting sick and literally from one moment to the next she was gone and it was a really hard it's been a very hard season in my family's life um and she was very i was very close to her she lived in florida we had to travel to florida um and we were there for the funeral and it, it was it's just been um a lot um, and so I had so many beautiful supporting friends on Instagram. If you guys follow me on Instagram and you send me messages, I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I had so much support, so such loving friends praying for us and so forth. And so it's just been a hard season, but um, God is good. He's getting us through. Um, and if you guys follow Ryan from Mom on Mission, she recently went through a whole buying and selling process and she can explain it so well it's just such a stressful time for a homeschool mama and a mama of multiple kids i can't explain it it's just been it's, it's stressful but we get through it you guys and so we are in the process of like i said getting the closing date so we will be moving um and it's exciting to start over um somewhere else and just kind of like start new routines so that all has to come with time but for the moment I wanted to show you the haul first before I did a homeschool update because a lot of the stuff that I'm going to show you has to be packed up so I will do the haul now um, show you what I bought and then the the next video you'll see should be my curriculum picks um, and then I also want to do a homeschool um, update update just kind of what work what didn't last year um, and uh, what we're doing different this year so that's kind of the next few videos that you see from me but i am back and i'm so glad that you're here so let's get to the um haul all right you guys so this is not a huge huge haul but it is what i need for the time so i have bought these clipboards from amazon um i think by may i had them already but i wanted to show you guys this is the ones that you open up like this um you put their stuff inside and you put what they're using what they're doing here this works really well with the gather round um because I use these for the worksheets, the um, seat work sheets. It works really well. I have all the seat work printed here and they'll sit down and do their seat work in these binders. I'm sorry, these clipboards. So I bought one for Jalen Jonah, super cheap. Um, these are on Amazon. I'm gonna link them down below, but I bought them for $6.88. They do go down in price. Now, I never buy them for 11. 
I haven't bought none of them for 11 or 12 or nothing like that. Um, I bought this big first grade book because it was also $6 at Amazon. And it's for JJ just to have extra work um, for him to do. Not something that we intend to do uh, cover to cover, but it is great to have for practice for him to have extra work. And um, I'll be playing that in with our lessons. Um, I have more from Amazon, but let me just show you really quick what I bought from Dollar Tree. I have, this is not an order, as you can see. <laughs> on Dollar Tree, literally, I didn't buy a lot on Dollar Tree. I have already a lot of these things. But I bought these two just to have new um, scissors because we have a, a shortage of scissors sometimes. And then we find them all and then we lose them all. And there's always something lost. So I just bought two more for the boys, especially for JJ. And then I have um, a little pad because I plan to do... Um, when I do reading time, I would like to them to draw while I'm reading. They have something to do. So um, I bought this for JJ. It's a mark and paint pad from the Dollar Tree. And then I love these from the Dollar Tree. If you guys ever see them, I say snag them. These are bookends and they work. They work great. I have them in my boys' room right now. Holding all the books perfectly fine. They don't, they don't bend. Um, of course, if you overdo it, they'll bend. But they're kind of sturdy. And so when I sell them, I pick them up. They don't have... The colors that I would like, like red or blue, <laughs> but I don't care. I can paint these. You can literally paint these, and um, they're great. If you ever see these, pick them up. I love them. I have two, and now I have six. Okay, so this is from Staples. I normally just get, like, crayons from Staples, really, when I go. They had these for $2, so I got these 64 I figured the boys can use new crayons. I got these. I think these were $3. The big pencil, um, mechanical pencils, they would really like these because they love, especially Jonah loves mechanical pencils. Then I got these markers, I think for 50 cents at the time or a dollar. And then these also for a dollar at Staples. That's all I get from Staples. And sometimes I get their paper when it's on sale, but I don't go nuts on Staples. So that's all I got from Staples. Now we're gonna go back to Amazon. Okay, so these are a few more things from Amazon. I got this construction paper from Amazon, two dollars, super cheap. Came very, it came like two weeks ago, two weeks later, but still, too cheap, uh, very cheap. I got these. These are for JL, the friction pens. He loves them, and I believe they were nine dollars on sale, so that was good. These are the sketchbooks that I got the boys. Like I said, I want to do when they're reading. I'm sorry, when I'm reading. Oh, I don't know why I bought that one for JJ. Now that I see, there's more than one here. So um, this is cheap though for the price that I paid. They gave me four. Um, these are the sketchbooks I got from Amazon, and they can you do it for. Um, we I probably use it for watercolors too. It looks thick, thick enough for watercolor, but I want them to draw while I do uh, while I'm doing read alouds because we do a lot of read alouds during our uh, gather around units, and uh, so they'll have these to sketch. That's enough for a couple. I think a couple for the whole year and more. And for my laminating machine, I got the laminating sheets, the thermal laminating pouches. This is always a good price um, and you get a hundred. So this is great. I got some paint for the boys because we literally threw away all our paint. It was like, kind of like some of them were dried, some of them were almost done. So I figured I'm gonna throw them all over, throw them all out and start over. So I got these to start with. I, I like the bigger packs, but it was hard to find these. I don't know why. They just didn't they didn't have them available. I got the squishy human body for a human human body unit. So now you not you guys know I'm doing the human body unit with Gather Around. That's the first one we're starting with. So I got this. I've heard wonders about this. It's great. It's a model where they put all these things inside and they open it up and they get to feel these things and play with it, identify them. So this should be fun. And I think it comes with more things. It comes with a little book and tweezers, which is great. So I can't wait to show them this. Okay, another thing I got was a learning calendar. I don't know if you can see the learning calendar. I've never had these. Um, I've had other ways of doing calendar. This was actually cheap. And I said, you know what? I need to do this for Jail and Jonah. I'm sorry, not Jail. Jonah and JJ, I need to do a calendar um, with them because they need more structure when it comes to calendars. So I got this one um, Learning calendar It's magnetic and it looks really good. It has good reviews. So I can't wait to use it That I got let's see what else I got. and then the final things that I got I got these little cute little mini erasers pencil erasers. They're actually really cute because they pick up the 
um, residue from the eraser and I've always wanted something like that. <laughs> We're always erasing. So that would be a cute little uh, gift for them for their first day of school. And then I got this too also to go with their body unit. It's the Melissa and Doug Magnetic Human Body Play Set. Jade is going to go to town with this. And I think even Jace will love it. So this is just fun to do to uh, use all of us and interact with it. So that's just another fun little thing to do. And then I did get my Horizons bath from um, Amazon. And it's book two because JJ completed book one last year. So we're going to do book two this year. And then I also got another one of these. And I'm sad because I already had this. So I spent the money for nothing. But nonetheless, I might give this away. <laughs> um, but this is my body. I love this so much because they do an actual life-size body. They do a body model on a big paper, like one of those construction paper, the big papers. And then they put all the body, the pieces on the on the body. We've done this for Jail's third grade. Jail's now going in my seventh grade. So the last time we did this was when he was in third grade. And him and Jonah really love this. So I'm hoping that JJ will love this. I'm not sure if I'm going to have Jonah do it too. But I definitely want JJ to do this. So this is a fun thing to do. You will copy them. That's is reproducible. So you just kind of copy it and then they cut it. All right, and the last two things that I always, always, always buy on Amazon, in Amazon, are the pencils. I always buy the 96-pack of Ticonderoga pencils. Um, I bought those earlier, like around March. I'm sorry, May. So those are packed away. And I also buy the 30 um, glue sticks, the 30 little pack of glue sticks. Sorry here. <laughs> um, and I always buy those. They're super cheap. And I think I bought them around prime time. Um, so I am set with uh, pencils and a, um, glue for next year. And then, I have, of course, as um, the year progresses, if I need anything, I always uh, just get it. I just get it if I need it. But for now, this is all we need. And I'm so glad that you uh, watch. And I hope you give me a thumbs up <laughs> if you enjoyed this video. And I will see you in the next one.